Hi, I'm Chris and welcome back to another weekly vlog. In this week's episode, I have not got one, but two awesome podcast guests for you guys. I play a local Open Championship PGA golf course and I'm at one of my biggest customers, biggest competitors for a cleaning walk round. Let's roll the footage. What is happening YouTube? Welcome back to another weekly episode. I am down at JCD HQ, as you can see from the decor. I'm still super impressed with our podcast studio, and today will be the first time that we are using that since it's had its revamp. We have our guest coming down today. She couldn't make last week. We did have an initial session booked in last week, but she had to cancel for certain reasons. So today we have Michelle Brightley, who is, um, in the recruitment industry for um, facilities management and everything else in between that comes with that. So she's coming down at 11.30. We was meant to have a tender walk around this morning. Unfortunately, customer canceled. They've moved it to Wednesday. So we've got a tender walk around on Wednesday, which should be good. I was speaking to someone this morning about the cleaning industry. It's a little bit quiet at the moment, to be honest with you guys. I think um, the back end of last year, apparently in the news recently, we was officially in a recession. And everyone seems to be tightening up a little bit, to be fair, or certainly, at worst case, holding on to things. People are just not pulling the trigger on new quotes. Like some of the quotes that you guys have seen us put out, even at the back end of last year, I like, still haven't had decisions on them yet, which is which is odd. I think people are saying are just in that negative mind space at the moment. So it's a little bit quiet, to be fair. We've had some contracts that are apparently going out to tender this year. They're going to be rebidding. You know, some of them will be looking to to make the contract bigger. I.D. They're condensing multiple contracts into one, which could be a good opportunity. But there's always that risk of retention, and you could lose business. So it's a bit of an interesting time at the moment, to be honest. And obviously. With the weather on Greywater, with the weather being dry, it hasn't been, you know, new business coming in hasn't been as busy because when it rains, obviously on the highways that we do, you know, that's when you realise there's flooding or that work needs doing. I say, we haven't had much rain, which is good to be fair. Um, so, you know, the boys are on lots of domestic stuff, doing PPM stuff, which is which is cool. So yeah, not as rammed, it's, a, it's at a steady pace, which is good. So um, I'm gonna catch up with some quotes, etc. I've got a couple of out, what's the time now? It's nine o'clock now. Um, I've got a couple of hours before, nine, 10, yeah, hour and a half, couple of hours before Adam and Michelle will probably get down here. So yeah, weekend was a good one. Not much going on the weekend, to be honest. You guys, as we're doing personal channels now, I have three daughters and they're varying ages from 13 down to five. Effectively, I'm an Uber driver the weekend. They're all into their performing arts and things like that. So I have to drive around and uh, make sure that they're varying clubs and things like that with my wife. So um, yeah, it was, it was a nice, pleasant weekend. Nice and relaxed, to be honest. So, um, so yeah, right. Anyway, back to business. I'm gonna get the laptop fired up. I've got my coffee and we are gonna get some quotes done. We're gonna chase up some new business as well and see what's going on. Let's go. It is now 11 a.m. still, not p.m. I haven't been here that long. I've been cracking on with my work, got plenty of bits done, listening to a few podcasts. Adam has just joined me and is setting up the podcast studio. It's been a while. When was the last time we done one? December. Yeah. December. So we're a couple of months out of sync. So let's hope it doesn't take us too long to get done and we have to do too many takes. As I mentioned this morning, we have got Michelle Brightley, big in the facilities management recruitment world. She is due here at 11.30. So, Adam's gonna get set up. I'm gonna carry on doing what I was doing, um, prep for this podcast, have a quick go through the notes that I have and research. And then yeah, we'll put this podcast episode down and we'll catch up with you guys after. And I think that the industry has to kind of get better at the way we train and develop individuals. What's the general consensus when you speak to young people and you mention the soft services, cleaning, FM industry? In the end, I probably shouldn't say this, I got sacked. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was quite difficult to actually get the business off the ground. And we come together and created this training programme. We would not have created this unless we could see the, a positive outcome for anyone that gets involved with it. We've made a few bad hires in our time and we, you pay for it. Yes, Tim. So we have finished our podcast with Michelle Brightly. Um, I have met Michelle many, many years ago. I think it must have been in my early 20s. So a good, what, 15 years ago. Um, really nice lady, really bubbly, and she was a fantastic guest. So thank you to Michelle for coming on. I've been down at HQ. She's been cracking on with some sales bits and pieces. When I say, like, oh, I'm down at the HQ, I don't really give you guys much indication of really what I'm up to. I just say I'm at HQ. So what I'm going to do, and Adam's told me I've got to do, is explain a little bit more about what I am actually doing. So am I doing sales? What does that look like? Um, am I looking for tenders? How does that look like? So um, I'll take that feedback on board and we'll try and give you guys a little bit more insight into what I actually do because you probably think I'm just hiding, don't you? So yeah, that's going to wrap up today. It's around 3.30 now. I've got a few other bits and pieces to do um, and then I will probably go and collect my daughter from school. Nice plus that I do where I can. I try and get um, my children from school if I have the time and today I will have the time. Tomorrow I'm at my first networking event of the year, Directors Golf. As you guys know, I like... Um, Pacific networking events and golf is definitely one of those. So I'm taking taking a business associate of mine um, to play tomorrow and I'll be going to catch up with one at Directors Golf as I haven't seen them for a while. So um, that should be interesting. Let's hope the weather is nice. It's been a bit mixed out there today. So yeah, all good in the hood. Decent Monday, to be honest. I've had worse Mondays, which is a plus. So that's going to wrap up today. As always, I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Yes, Steve, Wednesday. I've been golfed today, to be honest, to a colleague of mine, work friend, uh, friend, family friend, however you want to position it. Matt, we went out, nice game of golf. To be honest with you, I didn't film it, as I say, new vibe to the channel this year. If I don't feel like filming it, or I don't have the capacity, or don't feel like it suits the day, I'm not gonna, that's the end of that. So, as I say, we're capturing the journey as we go along with this one. So a nice day, we was down in Sandwich, Royal St George, which is an open championship course, super tough course. I actually played super well, to be honest. I come second, I had thought I had won it. Someone pipped me at the post in the clubhouse. Fantastic day, guests had a great day. It was good to catch up with a few friends as well while we were down there. Um, as I mentioned channel before, a little bit of networking there. Um, not as much as I'd hope sometimes, to be honest. The way they do it now, it's like a little bit staggered. It used to be like, more grouped um, and now they do sort of rolling dinner and things like that so you don't really get to mix as much anymore I don't think anyway um, but still fantastic day and we played well which always makes golf more enjoyable so um, a bit of a short Wednesday as I say I didn't fancy filming any b-roll today I'm gonna try and jump back on that train and just make sure I'm a little bit more consistent with that but for now it is what it is um, and we'll just take it as it comes as I say it's about capturing the journey you're coming along from that subscriber base is growing so we must be doing something okay or you guys think I'm all right it's one of them or both of them maybe so that's gonna wrap up Wednesday guys I will check in with you guys tomorrow where we have a tendable crowd see you tomorrow what is happening guys? What's today? Wednesday. Nice day yesterday at Royal St George's for the golf. Sorry I didn't get too much footage around there, but I was actually enjoying the day. Um, lovely course, really good. Comes second out the whole day and I am pleased with that because I haven't played golf in a while. This morning I had a meeting arranged, a tender walk round arranged for last week. The buyer couldn't make it um, because they had something come up. And they emailed me yesterday while I was out and about saying, can you get here today? So here I am. It's today and I am here. I have just arrived. This is a heavy manufacturing facility. They want some help with some specialist cleaning. And ironically, we work with one of their main competitors already. So I actually have a really good reference point for this um, customer. So hopefully that'll put us in good stead. So I've just arrived near Hastings. Uh, took me about an hour and 15. Um, so I've just got here. So we'll have a look around. I'll ask if I can take some pictures and film and see what they say. Let's go.
bit wet. Peeing down a rain. So I just had a wander around there. They want, um, they basically produce plasterboard. No secret, I think you can see that from the uh, from the footage. They produce plasterboard and they have rollers that go along and then periodically they get them rollers cleaned because they get plaster on them, obviously, nature of what they do. So they've got to be shut down in May. I say we work with someone else in exactly the same industry, so we have some experience in that. But also while I was there, obviously I dropped in that we work with this other particular customer um, and what we do for them. So the guy showed me some other bits and pieces, some confined space work, which we have trained staff for. So um, that was a useful visit. I say it was a bit, bit unplanned, to be honest, but we got there in the end um, and I met Rory, the guy I needed to meet. So um, yeah, so that went well. I've got to travel back now. I mean, what's the time now? It's about one o'clock now. So I'm going to travel back down. I'll probably head back home now, to be honest. I won't go down to HQ now. The time I get back, it'll be two, three o'clock. And then I'll get some quotes done up for this. Um, what have we got going on tomorrow? I feel like I've got something on tomorrow. I can't remember what. Thursday. I think I'm going to try and catch up with Adam and do some um, some one-off videos. They seem to be going okay on YouTube at the moment. So yeah, that'd be an interesting job. And if we get it i'll hopefully be able to show you guys around that's going to wrap up wednesday i'll see you guys for thursday friday we've got another podcast we've had two this week friday's guest is going to be epic but i'm going to keep that under my hat for now even though i haven't got a hat on so see you guys bright and early yes gang look at these headphones apple ones one minute can't hear you these are literally brilliant they're noise cancelling headphones. I've been putting off getting them for a while because they are expensive. They're 500, 500 pounds. But honestly, they are mad. There's a button on the side, right? You press it and it's noise cancelling. But I've had headphones that are noise cancelling before. And this is like, it is silent. You could just put them on and press the noise cancelling and you can't hear nothing. It's, it's really good. Good from a productivity point of view as well. So a little hack there for you on a Thursday. I'm not in the same clothes. I've got some jeans on today, boots, although I look like I'm in the same clothes. It's Thursday, 11 a.m. I have another tender walk round, which is good news, obviously, being a cleaning company. If you're not doing tender walk rounds or you're not going to see customers, you're obviously not winning new business. And to be fair, the market has been a bit quiet. I've told a few people this. I find people are not pulling the trigger. What do I mean by that? People are having lots of quotes, but no one's making the decision to give the quote a nod. And it's been quiet, to be fair. But what I'm worried about is everyone's holding back for whatever reason. And then, you know, it might be in a couple of months. Everyone's going to go, oh, you remember that quote you gave us six months ago? We want that done now. And there's going to be a flood of work and then you're manic busy again, which is a nice problem to have, but you don't want them ups and downs and peaks and troughs. So I'm at a local contract. This is going to be a commercial cleaning account. I don't know if I can film it yet. If I can, obviously there'll be some B-roll coming in after this. If not, I'll update you because I always ask customers if I could take some pictures and videos while I'm going round. Um, some say no, some say yes. So um, I always ask that first. So yeah, I've just got here in the car. They've scheduled two hours. So 11 till 1. But just driving around the little estate, trying to familiarise myself where it was, I've noticed they've got five or six buildings. And some of them are a fair size. So this could be a nice contract. So anyway, that's enough of me waffling. I've got to be there in six minutes. I'm just parked down the road. I got here a little bit early to do some paperwork. So I'm going to head down there and then I'll let you guys know how... Uh, spit it out. I'll let you guys know how it goes. What is happening team? It's Friday. I didn't film yesterday. The job I went round, it was a, they produce medical products. Um, I did ask and they said, it's okay to take some pictures, but we'd rather not do any filming, which is understandable. So I didn't manage to get that done, but that walk around itself actually went very well. And uh, <laughs> it was a bit, it was funny really. There was a, a gentleman and a lady that was uh, doing the tender walk round, and obviously you're chatting to them and they do it individually. It wasn't like a group walk round like some tenders are. Um, and the lady uh, that was there um, actually lives literally direct opposite me. So, hey, small world. But built a bit of rapport. And, um, yeah, I think, I think we're in a shout with that one. As I say, it's been quiet the last couple of months, to be fair. Quoting lots, but not really much going on. And it seems to be, you know, lots of quotes going out, but not really much coming to the fore at the moment. So, um, you know, it's been, been slow. It's not, not problematic yet, but it's, um, it's slow. But hopefully, like I mentioned yesterday, then floodgates will open and we'll have lots of new business. But anyway, so... What's happening on a Friday? You know, your boy likes to keep things nice and quiet on a Friday, but today is not one of those days I have a podcast guest. I have been trying to pin this guy down for some time now, and I think this one is going to go down really well. So I have just got down here. I'm just going to wait for this guest to come. I'm not going to give it away. Here it is. 
Um, I wait for Adam. They should be here shortly, and then we have an, we've got half hour till our next one. So, I'm gonna just quickly send a couple of little emails, and then I'm really looking forward to this chat. I reckon it's gonna be a long one. So, send them emails, and then get this podcast out. Yes, guys, so I got back home. Um, just literally now, I had to quickly pop to a client meeting about a site that they wanted us to have a look at. So, I had a long long chat with Grant. Oh, it's hailing now. We've had all sorts of weather this week. A long chat with Grant. That was super interesting. Great podcast. Been trying to pin him down for some time now. Um, so, I'm pleased to finally get that over the line and look forward to you guys seeing it. So, lots of tendering this week, which is good. As I say, the market has been a little bit slow, but it's nice to see that it's starting to move again. And um, hopefully, with that, I'll be able to take you guys out on lots of jobs. So I've just got home. I'm actually going out this afternoon. I'm going to see an Oasis cover band. So nice short Friday for me this week. So it's nice to get back in the flow of things and give you guys a full week of content. So that's going to wrap up another weekly episode. I am with Adam Monday, and there's plenty of other stuff going on. So enjoy the weekend, team. Make sure you like and subscribe. Numbers are going up nicely again now, which is perfect. And I will see you guys in next week's episode. As always.